Hey everyone, Nicole here with Gulf Coast Gal. I am ready to kick this New Year's off right with a review of a restaurant on what I like to call Restaurant Row. We're on Biloxi Beach in Biloxi, Mississippi and about to enjoy some delicious food from The Reef. The Reef is a bar and restaurant located right on the beach and it has a really cool vibe and some unique menu items. So we're gonna go check it out. First thing you'll notice about the reef is this amazing mural on the back side of the building. It's actually by a local artist named Marty Wilson, who is known for all of his aquatic creatures. Look how cool that is. Let's see if we can get a little bit more detail. Look at this guy, isn't he super cool? Again, this was painted by Marty Wilson, a local artist here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. He said the reef wall was dedicated to the people of this community and their commitment to the beautification of our Mississippi Gulf Coast and the conservation of our wildlife and marine mammals of the Gulf of Mexico. One Gulf, one goal. How super cool. Painted this in 2016. I think he was on a scissor lift for quite a few hours to get all the details. Um, from what I saw in the different stages, he sketched it out and then painted all the details. Amazing. Another one of my most favorite parts of this restaurant is the view. You are literally right on the beach. Super cool. We're gonna head on up these stairs and see if we can get a better view. Right when you walk up, there is an elevator on the left-hand side of the stairs in case you need to take that, but let's go get started. Okay guys, talk about an amazing lunch view. So there is seating inside and outside because the weather is amazing and it's January, go figure. Um, I decided to sit outside and uh, in just a little bit, we'll give you a tour of inside, but let's take a look at this menu. One whole side of the menu is wraps and salads. Look how yummy. Let's flip this bad boy over and see what else we have. Small bites, Southern flavors, specialties sandwiches fresh off the boat such a cute menu i love all the graphics hmm what should i get y'all know i go right for the dessert look at that that sounds amazing as you can tell the wind's blowing i'm gonna get distracted by this view too super cute patio area It is covered and does have lights for nighttime and these heaters. And I believe this one is on today because it's a little chilly outside. But again, it's January. The wind is blowing and the weather is amazing. So I opted for a side Caesar and a cup of red beans and rice. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this red beans and rice? It looks phenomenal. And that toast, oh my gosh, I can't wait to dig in. Okay, we're gonna try out the side Caesar first. Apologies, the sun is in my eye. Let me make sure I get a little bit of everything. Really good. Lettuce is really fresh. There's plenty of dressing on here and lots and lots of cheese. That's phenomenal. I'm gonna give this a break and then dive into my red beans and rice. Let's try that out. That toast looks so good. Let's see. Wow. I need like just a whole appetizer of that. Let's see. Get some rice. I love how they put like the rice on a pile on the top. It's super cute. A little artistic too. All right, so. Really good. All right, I'm gonna dig in and then let you guys know. Oh my goodness, that red beets rice was phenomenal and the toast was like delicious and buttery but had like a little spice to it like if i could lick the bowl and not be a crazy person i would 
totally would because it was so good. I do have a question for you guys though. Should I get dessert? I was eyeballing that chocolate cake really hard. I'll have to see what the three options are. Let me know what you would get below. Okay guys, my options were a chocolate cake with um, ice cream a la mode, a caramel cheesecake, or a key lime pie. Which one do you think I got? You can drop a comment down below. In the meantime, how about we take a look at this beautiful plate right here. Look how amazing it is. I got the key lime pie and it has some key lime drizzle around it. Let's see. Oh wow, very flavorful. And so yummy. Super refreshing. It goes great with my meal of the salad and red beans and rice. I love this so much, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna put this camera down and I'm gonna eat the rest of this and then we'll do a little walking around so I can show you guys the rest of the amenities in the restaurant and then let's maybe take a walk on the beach. What do you think? Stay tuned. Okay, these are the stairs that take you up to the Sky Bar. We're gonna go check it out. And with a little movie magic, we've made it to the top already. They aren't open just yet, but I did want to show you this amazing view. As I mentioned, they're not open just yet, but you can kind of get a sneak peek of the bar area. Tons of seating up here and lots of windows. They have those neat roll-up glass garage doors. So probably during the warmer months, they open those bad boys up and it opens to the deck right over there. This is the deck area and look at tons of seating. And then again, look at that amazing view. How great. All right, we're gonna head downstairs. I'm gonna give you a look inside the restaurant and then let's go take a walk on the beach. How's that sound? One of my favorite parts are these giant, essentially, sliding glass doors that they have for windows. During the warmer months, they can open them up and let the cool beach breeze in. Super amazing. And more Marty Wilson art. Look at that pelican. Beautiful. And they also have a super cool merch available and then these adorable cups that you can have your alcoholic beverages in for souvenirs. Those are their Covey Awards. Pretty neat. They also have a little playground for the kids over here on the left hand side with some sand and some chairs for the adults to relax. How cool. Perfect, they also have a foot washing station after you're done walking on the beach. We're gonna take a little walk on the boardwalk. Look how awesome that is. And enjoy this beautiful winter day. <laughs> On the beach they have quite a few of these placards with some information about landmarks. This one talks about the island, Ship Island to be exact, and Fort Massachusetts. And another placard about the Barrier Islands. Look at that view. Oh my goodness, what a delicious meal and what an even better view. I love my salad, it was really good and fresh. Um, the cheese was delicious. The dressing was really good. It wasn't too creamy and it wasn't too 
um, vinaigrette based. It was very wonderful. And then that red beans and rice, y'all. I could eat a whole bowl of that red beans and rice, but that was the perfect portion. And the bread was spicy and buttery. I don't know how you make bread spicy. <laughs> it was really good. And then to top it all off, we ended with a delicious key lime pie. That was one heck of a meal. And again, a great meal and an even better view. You can't beat it. My meal cost me $18.19 before tip. Ended up in the low 20s. That was a really good priced meal. Easy, convenient, right off of Highway 90 and right next to the beach. That's it for me, Gulf Coast Gal, signing off and reminding you to like and subscribe to stay up to date on more activities, attractions, events, and yummy eat spots just like this one that you can only find here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast.